let's talk about some Dominaria remastered reprints that could be more affordable due to these reprints. So we have Nightscape Familiar going for around a dollar. Maybe this will go to 25 to 50 cents. I typically take a 25 to 30 percent price decrease whenever a reprint happens. So if it is a 25 percent price decrease, we're looking at around 75 cents. But again, that's savings. And to budget players, that's very important. Next is Chainer Dementia Master. Love this one. Very powerful commander because for three black mana and three life, we get to put any creature from any graveyard onto our battlefield under our control and now it's a black creature and a nightmare in addition to its other types. When this leaves the battlefield we do have to exile all nightmares and Chainer also gives our nightmares plus one plus one. Typically going for around twelve dollars now they're estimating around six which is a fifty percent price decrease which is really sweet. Peregrine Drake so if you're able to take advantage of ETBs bringing this back to our hand for less than five mana bringing it back on the battlefield we can untap five lands potentially have infinite mana. What's crazy is that this is a a two to three dollar card used to be around 50 cents so hopefully it'll get back to that price maybe a dollar tatiova benthic druid if you love playing lands and drawing cards off of that this is probably your favorite commander what's great is that this is about a dollar or two and it says whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control you get to gain one life and draw a card so hopefully with this reprint we can look at a dollar tatiova which would be really sweet as for the artifacts we have tormod's crypt so we're looking at a really great artifact already in budget because it's less than a dollar this can probably go in any budget deck and it can go in any color of deck which is really sweet we get to exile a player's graveyard if we sacrifice this and it costs zero mana we just have to tap it mindstone this is a mana rock where we pay two mana and we get to tap it for one mana what's really sweet is that we're seeing this around the one dollar mark but now that i'm looking at it this is going for around 26 cents from the warhammer 40k deck which is really silly but i love seeing it at a quarter this would be a great mana rock if it was for that price so hopefully it will continue to be less than a dollar. Next is Crawl Space. No more than two creatures can attack you each combat. So this is going to help us against decks that can really take advantage of making a huge amount of creatures. This will be the one to stop them, hopefully. Going for around 12 to $16, that's a lot of money, especially in budget decks because typically budget decks are going to be anywhere from $30, $50, maybe even under 100 If it was 100 for your budget for your deck, this is 10% of it or even 15%, which can be a lot. So hopefully with this reprint, we're looking at around $5 that would be even better. The last artifact is Gauntlet of Power. When it enters the battlefield, we're going to choose a color, and creatures of the chosen color get plus one, plus one. Whenever a basic land is tapped for mana of the chosen color, its controller adds one additional mana of that color. So this is great for monocolor decks, especially budget, because we love basic lands. This is going for around five dollars. I would love to see it under that price, maybe two and a half, three dollars. That would be great for budget decks. On to the enchantments, probably my favorite thing to talk about. We have Exploration. If you want to play additional lands, this is a great way to do it, but maybe not at the price it is currently at because we're looking at around $20. I would love to see this at maybe $10, $15. That'd be so sweet. Still a really large amount for budget decks, but hopefully more reprints will make this a cheaper card. Mystic Remora. I remember picking this up for $2. Now it's going for around, it's estimated for this copy is $6.99. Hopefully this can bring the price down a little bit more. Really sweet card if we could take advantage of bringing it back to our battle field and never having to pay the cumulative upkeep. Oversold Cemetery. The commander mechanic mentioned this one. It's a really sweet card. Maybe not for $15, but it saw a reprint and jumpstart going for $8, which is around 50% of a price decrease from the $15.70. So crazy theory here. What if the Dominaria Remastered saw another 50% decrease? This would be a $4 card. Still a little bit out of my preference for spending money on budget cards because I like $2 or less. That is my my preference but if it's a four dollar card and you really need this for your deck i can see it going in there sylvan library going for around forty dollars typically and they estimate this will go around for 35 well maybe we can see it 25 that'd be really sweet you don't typically see this in green where we're able to take advantage of drawing two additional cards for eight life this was definitely one of those cards printed in the 90s no mercy for two and two black as an enchantment that says whenever a creature deals damage to you destroy it going for around $40 in its original printing, but now we're seeing it for 
$19.99 in its estimate on TCG Player. It would be sweet if this was a lower price, but I don't think I've ever considered putting this in my decks because you're still taking damage from those creatures while it can be a threat because maybe your opponent won't attack you that turn. Something to think about. The last enchantment is Sneak Attack. For four mana, we get an enchantment that says if you pay one red, you can put a creature from your hand onto the battlefield so we can get around paying its mana cost. That creature gains haste and then we have to sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step, which is the bad part. But if we're able to take advantage of that creature dying or we can take it back to our hand, this can be a really sweet card. They're estimating it going for $11.99, which is really sweet. I've never owned this card, but it's been one of those upgrade cards for my decks. I've just never went through with purchasing it. So we have a lot of tutors in our instance that are being reprinted, which can be really sweet if you're going to be using tutors. I typically don't like to add them if they're going to get me win cons. I personally don't enjoy win cons. I know some people prefer it because they want to end the game a little bit sooner. I totally understand. So if you're looking for tutors, let's talk about Enlightened Tutor. We get an artifact or enchantment with this one for one white mana. Typically going around $40. I would love to see this at a $20 price. Probably not going to happen because they're estimating it to be around $30 for the European price tag. So this will probably be $35 US. Next is Entomb. This is great for decks that want creatures in your graveyard. So I see this as a tutor because we get a card from our library into our graveyard and if we're able to take advantage of getting that to our hand or our battlefield, this is a great card for you. Going for around $30, so maybe this will be $20-25. Mystical Tutor. This is a very expensive tutor going for around $20. I remember picking this up for $2 and I thought that was a lot of money. Again, I'm a budget player. I see it as that, but of course I don't play tutors anymore at least the one mana ones. So maybe we can see this for 10 to 15. Vampiric Tutor. We pay one mana, get a card from our library, shuffle our library, put it on top, and we lose two life. Going for around $40. Maybe we can see this at $25, $30. That would be a crazy price, but really sweet. Worldly Tutor. So we get a creature. We have to reveal it, put it on top of our library, and shuffle our library beforehand. They're estimating this around $25 right now. Would love to see it at $20 or less. The last instant is High Tide. If you're playing Mono Blue, definitely put this one in here. It's going for around $1, they estimate, for this printing. But from other printings, we're looking at less than a dollar. I see $0.83 cents as the cheapest option right now. So hopefully this will go to $0.50 cents or less. This is great for budget Mono Blue decks. There's actually two more instants I want to talk about. We have Counterspell. Believe it or not, this is a $2 card, which is kind of crazy. I thought this was around $1 not too long ago, and I thought that was a lot of money. But again, it's two mana to counter any spell. I can see it being around $2, but hopefully this will bring it down a little bit more. The last instant is Force of Will. This is 5 mana to counter target spell, but we're able to reduce that cost by paying 1 life and exiling a blue card from our hand rather than paying its mana cost. And if you didn't know, reducing something's mana cost is very powerful in Magic the Gathering. So you can see by this price, $89 is the lowest price for this card. Hopefully this printing will see maybe $50. Again, I'm never going to play this card because it's just not for me, especially for its price because that's the price of a budget deck that I'm willing to spend. But if you're interested in this card, hopefully it'll be a cheaper card for you to pick up if you need it. Moving on to the sorceries, we have Last Chance. For two red mana, we get to take an extra turn after this one. At the beginning of that turn's end step, we're going to lose the game. So this is great in decks that are able to take advantage of ending the turn before this resolves. So we don't lose the game, we actually just took an extra turn for only two mana. Or we're able to close out the game within that extra turn. Typically around $40 from its original printing, now going for $9.99 is what they estimate. Love seeing that price. And now actually that I think about it, that would be a 75% decrease. Am I right? I believe so. But you can also see from the secret layer drop that made it to $20. So maybe it's just a 50% price decrease, which is still really sweet. Wrath of God. I've always had a drawing to this card because it's a cheap board wipe. Destroys all creatures. They can't be regenerated. And the art is really sweet too. Going for around $5. Would love to see this at the $2 to $3 range. Could potentially start putting it in budget decks, which would be very helpful. Time stretch. So this is a 10 mana. Take an extra two turns. They estimate it's going to be around $15. I would love to see it go for 10 or less, but that may not happen because we're looking at around 20 to 25 for the older printings. But I don't know. If we're looking at that 50% price decrease we've seen from previous cards, maybe this will be a 10 to $12 card. Would love to see that. The last thing I want to talk about is the lands. They all do the same thing, so I'll just talk about them very briefly. Clifftop Retreat is the red or white one that when it enters the battlefield, it's going to enter tapped unless you control a mountain or a plains, going for around $5. Hinterland Harbor, 
this is the green or blue version, going for around $5 again. I would love to see all of these around the $2 to $3 mark. That's when I was buying them. And that's still pretty expensive for budget decks because typically I'm looking for a dollar less lands, which is pretty rough, I know. But lands can make the deck get really expensive really fast. Isolated Chapel, this is the black and white version. Again, around $5. Sulphur Falls. I was surprised to see this price because we're looking at three to four dollars and red and blue is is probably a very powerful color combination but maybe I'm missing something. I thought CEDH took advantage of this but I'm sure they don't mind the price decrease as well. The last one is Woodland Cemetery. Going for around three to four dollars. Love to see that so maybe we can get this to a one to two dollar card. I know the one dollar is probably pushing it but would love to see that price decrease. This is really going to help out budget decks. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want any of these cards, you can use the link down below. You help support the channel at no additional cost to you. And thank you to the members who help support this show. You can also become a member for 99 cents by hitting that join button down below. I'll see you on the next one. Uh, peace.